Hello, I am the Archangel Daniel and today in this video we're going to talk about Satan. Satan is from the second Lucifer batch. So that's of a batch of 5,000 angels called Lucifer. Satan is one of them. Not all of them, just one of them. So you'll meet angels in the future who are called Lucifer. That's not a bad word in heaven. It is the name of the batch. There are many angels from the Lucifer batch, the first one and the second one, that are still alive to this day in their batch. And are very happy at the moment. The word Satan translates to against God. And... How Satan came up with the name was he just decided one day to turn against God. Satan's not a leader or in charge of anything at the time. He is not a warrior or a soldier. He's not a scientist. He's not a teacher. He's just a guy who whinges and complains all the time. If you want to know what Satan's face looks like, it in fact looks similar to sketches of Mekong from comic books of Dan Deer. So he was from the, the second Lucifer batch. Satan's friends and associates, who are his followers on earth, are Baal, who's from the Moses batch, Ashura, who's from the second Lucifer batch, Dominion Artius, from the second Lucifer batch, Allah, from the first Gabriel batch. No offense to any people who are Muslims. Uh, that is just the name that this person decided to call himself. Belon Gong, Second Lucifer Batch. Michael, the first Lucifer Batch. And David, the first Lucifer Batch. Satan's character. He's lazy. Does no work. He's also ungrateful when people help him. He's very stubborn. He refers to celibacy and purity. He also refers to wearing feces on his face and body as purity as well. And this has occurred throughout history. And it is in relation to an incident that happened in heaven. In the first history, Satan and his followers were left unchecked and would take angels from the batches to the lake and drown them and rape them. And he increased in number substantially to a hundred million before God asked myself to stop working as a farmer and defend heaven. So myself God, Jesus, Mary, and Rebecca, my mother, and my father, Non, and my brother, Joshua, son of Non, who's my oldest brother, uh, and some of the Gabriel batch worked together to defend heaven out of a total population of 150 million 50 million had to be protected from 100 million. And it came to a confrontation where Satan had Baal with, hold a knife and he was about to stab God. And then I intervened and took the knife from Baal. And then 
I gave Satan a hiding and then God opened up a wormhole to the storage dimension which we refer to as hell. And I wound up throwing Satan through that wormhole and then all of Satan's followers followed him into there. They all died in the storage dimension. They wound up on a planet as I described with in an earlier video with gravity and air but no heat or light and so they all died Satan died from being crushed because everyone landed on top of him the wormhole exit point was above the ground 20 meters so Satan landed on the ground and died and then everyone else landed on top of him and died Back then, there was no Holy Spirit in the first history. When these individuals died, they wound up in soul form. And then, 400 billion years later, God had created the universe by hand. And had created humankind by hand. And the humankind that were on earth had been brought in through a wormhole. From heaven. They had angels with them and survived off one vegetable only, which resembled a type of carrot but was quite bland. And Satan and his followers were in the storage dimension. God used to heckle them from heaven. He'd open up the same wormhole and everyone would shout and yell at Satan and his followers who are starving, who are cold, who are thirsty. And God attempted to do this on earth. And what happened was uh, the wormhole exit point was too low to the ground. And Satan and his followers went through the wormhole and that is how they got to earth. And the first history, once they got on earth, they became extremely envious of humankind who were able to eat and drink and were warm in the jungle environment of Belize. And they, the people could hear them but could not see them. And by talking to people, Satan and his followers managed to convince them to fight among each other, rape and kill each other, and one day they came across a fire caused by lightning, and they spread the fire from one end of the area that they're in to another, and turned the place into a desert. And then the last people were dying of starvation, God asked me if I would go to Earth, which we referred to as Planet One, and kill Satan and his followers. And so I took a knife and went down and killed them, all of them. Back then, instead of the Holy Spirit teleporting people back to heaven, what would happen, or to the storage dimension, what would happen is God would fuse on the person a tiny fragment of wormhole element and upon a drop in current from the brain upon death the soul would teleport to either storage dimension or to heaven to God and Mary's house in heaven the soul would get refilled with a new body So Satan and his followers all got killed in the first history by myself and then I returned to heaven. I later kept returning to planet one and explored the planet and the universe. That is another story. I'll also mention in another video about this history and its differences.
I'm the Archangel Daniel, and I'm from heaven.